This is a quick little video on my sleep system. Since I recently was able to do a test of my sleep system um, on a camp out, um, I did another shakedown a couple of weekends ago and it got down to 21 degrees and I was only expecting it to get down to about 30, 33 degrees. And I woke up and it was 21, frost on the tent and the ground and I slept comfortable. I got a little cool, but I will show you one, system, one part of this system that I had not implemented, and I know I'll be comfortable once I um, implement it. But I was comfortable, I slept well that night. Um, it was a little warm on my top, a little cool on my um, backside toward the ground, but I'll explain. So let's start off with um, top to bottom. I th will be sleeping in silk underwear, these are the bottoms just simple REI silk underwear and the tops. And um, my ankle is still a little sore, so forgive me for squirming around here on the f ground. I will have silk socks on or wool socks on as well that I'll s have separate, but these are my sleep booties. These are down and um, these are made by Goose Feet Gear. In the gear list you will see um, them listed and how much they weigh. I think they weigh two ounces, an ounce each. Um, so it's very, very light, if that. My quilt here is made by Catabac. Um, Catabac makes very good quilts. This is a, called a Flex 22. This is 900 down fill, um, water treated. Um, and it has these clips on them right here. And the clips um, attach onto this cord and um, if you'll notice right here, I have put little markers, uh, black marker, on where the cords sit here and here. So when I'm setting up, I'm not having to guess. And what this does is um, doesn't go all the way underneath you, but it pulls it in to keep any drafts from coming up. So all the down is on top of you. Um, so I was truly sweat um, in, in this. And then I have a um, Cedar Summit um, reactor extreme here and it's supposed to add 25 degrees to the sleep system but between this and this i was sweating from the sides up um, my bottom side here um, was a little cool against the ground i did not have the additional mat on it i had it with me i was using it as a, a backrest or a, you know a prop um, on it but i know once i implement this it'll be fine but this is the, um, the sleeping pad is a, a Nemo tensor, tensor insulated, um, regular length, but wide. Um, this is the uh, switchback is made by Nemo too. And it adds another 2.2 to um, R value. The, uh, pad is a 3.3 so just the pad by itself I slept comfortable at 21 degrees I know when I put this on top um, it will be even better now I know I'm gonna get comments about putting it underneath but you'll see a link below I was fo I've been following this one guy on YouTube um, that does a lot of um, sub-zero Arctic um, backpacking trips and he insisted it should go on top. And uh, I'm gonna give what he said a try first. I'm definitely gonna try the other, but uh, he has written books. He is very, an expert at it, so I'm gonna believe the expert on what I should do. Um, my pillow is a Cedar to Summit Ultralight Large. Um, it worked really well for me. This is another thing that made by Catabac. And, um, it is a hoodie down and what's nice about it it goes on and then these go over you like this it keeps it from coming coming off so between this being on and you being underneath that you can cinch this down to just allow your breath to come through and it really really works well um, so additionally to that um, everything I one of the other guys I follow on YouTube said your entire sleep system 
just put it in a single bag and that's what I'm putting everything into this one bag with the exception of my um, sleeping pad. My sleeping pad, which is made by Nemo, they make a very good um, air sac that blows this up. But I'll tell you, the one that's better is made by XPad. They don't make a great um, sleeping pad or they do make a good sleeping pad, but it's heavy and um, not a very good warranty. But XPad makes a great um, inflating thing. And the reason why I think it's so good is it's its own dry sack. Um, this is where you fill it up, you snap it over when you're done with it, and you can blow it up, and it becomes, I have used this like in the afternoon as my, its own pillow, uh, and it has worked quite well as an uh, just additional pillow. Now, I don't inflate it that high when I'm using a pillow. I'll put it in another, you know, a, a, um, stuff sack um, so it, I'm not deflating this that much but I, it's down it's just an additional pillow it really works well now inside my pad or inside my um, quilt I will be bringing my I got another a dry sack for my water filter and water bottle but I'm also going to use my tent bag naturally my tent will be up but I'm going to use this bag to put my shoes and socks in and so I can put this in my foot box as well so that um, this will stay clean. My shoes will be on the inside. That's where my um, wet tent will go back into on this bag. Um, I got this because um, the last trip I did with the frost, the tent was, I had to put up the tent, you know, you package up the tent when all the frost is on there. It's just a little bit bigger than the bag and it was impossible to get in and I basically, um, had to wait till the end of the day to um, put the tent back in its bag. So I went on and just got a bigger bag so I don't have to fight it with um, every morning. And so basically that's my sleep system. Um, hope you got something out of it. Oh, one other thing. This right here, um, MRS. This right, this bag, this thing right here, um, I didn't use it yet, but I have tested it here at the house on cold weather days. And what I've done is this is, um, can take boiling water as well as ice water. And that's what I've been putting this in the freezer and put, um, soaking my ankle on it because of um, my twisting my ankle. If you saw my other video where I just decided to step off the edge of the trail. Um, but boil hot water, put it in this. And um, I put it between two towels outside during cold weather and six hours later, I went and put my hand between the towels where this was, and it was still really warm. Not hot, but warm. So this will add um, on those really cold days if I need it. I don't think I'm gonna need it with my sleep system, but thought I would share. And if you have any questions, um, please ask. Any comments, just be constructive is all I ask. And before I go, I wanna give a shout out to Nick Green. Um, take a look. YouTube, uh, Google him. Um, he's an actor and he has published a 2020 through hype video that he did. Really good. I don't want to call it necessarily a documentary, but it's him talking, him talking to different hikers. There are some fantastic sayings in there and thoughts and it really is good. So a good shout out to him. Take a look at his video. 